How we become brain damaged. Um, let's see here. A specific region of the hippocampus. This is an article that came out of um, a veterans article. It's called Hippocampus and PTSD. It doesn't say who it's by. A specific region of the hippocampus, a brain structure that is essential to memory, is significantly smaller in veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder than those without the condition, according to a study by researchers at San Francisco VA Medical Center at UC San Francisco. The researchers used magnetic resonance imaging to scan the brains of 40 veterans, 20 with combat-related PTSD and 20 without, and found that the region known as the CA3 dendrate gyrus, dendrate gyrus was more than 20% smaller on average in veterans with PTSD. Okay, so that's like the hippocampus of schizophrenics is also smaller. So do you see a correlation here? No, nobody ever does. It's okay. I'm just like seeing these illusory correlations and I'm a total utter moron. You know, a lot of people get smaller. You know, it can happen from drugs too and it can happen from general brain damage, but it gives you like the same kind of symptoms. Um, like with cognitive symptoms, but uh, full-blown, the type of like schizophrenia that makes you like, <sighs> where you hear voices all the time and like you're tortured in a hellish reality, that would definitely be from abuse. That would definitely be from freaking abuse. And like, it's just your personality is unable to overcome it. I was slow, so I was always undervalued in my reality. So people were always saying horrible things to me. And I was always taking those words and like going crazy with them. Like, eventually it just kind of fried my brain. Um, imagine like every day of your life being a living hell. Like from the time you get up until the time you go to bed. And you kind of get used to it and you kind of get demoralized, but still like... You have these triggers, like, that help you keep, stay alive in your reality, like, avoid this, avoid that. And, they're, like, they're all ingrained in your head in random ways. So you've got, like, vampires coming at you or dead people or whatever, you know. I got my beans. This is the only thing in life that makes life worth living are these beans. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. But I can't feel like I don't get any joy out of them, but my tongue loves them. They're very good. Beans make life worth living.